Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Heretic Shadow of the Serpent Riders on a Black Plague difficulty for the PC. We are also doing all levels with a one start, and this is episode 5, mission 3, Quay. What is a Quay? Basically, a dock. I'll just save the elaborate definition and just go for a synonym. I assume you know what a dock is, right? Anyways, let's begin. So yeah, you'll notice uh, there are a few uh, like crevices here with crystal vials, which we will probably go to later. For a good reason. Anyways, what you want to do is go up here and grab the ethereal crossbow and watch out for these fire gargoyles and regular gargoyles. And watch out for these guys over here, these iron liches. When you fire, they will be provoked. So you want to like time your shots right. Or time your first shot, even. Stepping into this area, we'll open up this area with uh, saber claws and ophidians. So watch out for them. You can probably get them into in fights if you want. And you might have noticed that I picked up the fire mace. Yeah, that area over there is one of the places where you can get it. And I'm going to use it right now, in fact. You could probably use the ethereal crossbow, but I'm going to use the fire mace since I could get some insta-kill action. And I'm going to use it tomed up, by the way. Anyways, yeah, this place opened up earlier when we ascended the stairway, which has a secret with a bag of holding and some ammo for the hell staff and all other good things. Now, you could probably use uh, these uh, goodies to clean up the area here. I'm going to use the album one because it's a hit scam weapon and I can use it to like get the liches and plus the powered up fire mace doesn't work on boss type enemies like the iron lich and the molotar so yeah I won't be able to insta kill them with it. What a shame. It'll just do uh, 18 to 144 damage at best. Depends on the RNG. You'll want to watch out for these tornadoes. Sometimes they could be a benefit. One time I got them to lift me up there with that phoenix rod, but uh, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to whittle all these other enemies down. Now, you might notice in these like areas here with the pillars, some time bombs of the ancients. And this area is another place we can go to, but not yet. First, what we're going to do is deal with the rest of these iron liches, or rather these ones down here, because... Uh, they're hiding some goodies in there that we'll see very soon, assuming we don't screw up. And yeah, like I said, you could probably use these tornadoes to your benefit if you want to go up and get the uh, Phoenix Rod earlier than you probably could. Uh, but that requires a lot of good positioning, which I'm not able to do right now because I have a wireless mouse on me right now, and that may explain why my movements are a bit more jittery than usual. At least when it comes to aiming. Anyways, going in here, we'll have more gargoyles, fire gargoyles, saber claws, ophidians up there, the works. Yeah, this level has a lot of enemies, so uh, you'll want to watch out for them. What you can do is try to get them into some invites, pick up the items while you get it, while you're here. Make sure to sprint all around the place and dodge all the projectiles, or at least try to. And you'll notice the uh, yellow key door right here. It has more saber claws in it. I'm going to use a time bomb. And I didn't get them, but I softened them up at least. There's an energy orb in there, which is good because what we'll be getting is very important. There's a uh, more saber claws here, because why not? And the uh, dragon claw. And more ophidians up there, so I'm not going to doll here too long. Instead, I'm just going to grab the bag of holding which is behind here and uh, go into this portal, which will take you back to where you were before. So just keep watching out for the Ophidians up here. And uh, deal with the Saber Claws here while you're at it. Make sure to corral them, sort of. And if you don't kill them, you at least soften them up. Or uh, other weapons, like the Ethereal Crossbow. Or bread and butter, of course. And of course, you can pick up more ammo if you uh, were already full or didn't get it earlier. In here are the Ophidians from earlier. Well, some of them at the very least. They'll be wanting to magic your face off those like weird staff things. So watch out for them and watch out for these ones too. Uh, what you can probably do is uh, I use a crossbow on these Ophidians instead of the Dragon Claw because I'm going to save the Dragon Claw ammo for later because we'll need it. Trust me, we will. I'm going to pick up this vial here and probably pick up uh, the crystal right there, too. If 
for the wand, that is. Anyways, just will the, all these uh, Ophidians down and you'll probably be able to finally get into that room. Sometimes they don't gather towards the store, which will make this area a lot easier. And if you lose a lot of health, you can use the uh, porch flask, assuming you got it and you haven't used it earlier. Now what I'm going to do, because I just got hit, I'm going to play the Hit Scan Harry game on this one. Because, yeah, these guys want to be annoying as all hell. So I'm going to be annoying too. But now oh, they're done with. There's more crystal vials here, more wand crystals, more ammo, just everything you'll need for your journey. Eh? But when you press this switch, you'll raise this stairway up, which leads to this green key. But when you also do that and step into that area, this area will open up with these iron legends. I'm not going to use the Shadow Spear on them because it's a very like, narrow area and dodging the tornadoes won't matter if you can't dodge the like fire and ice and everything that comes with that. So yeah, just play the hit scan Harry game on these guys. Will them down. And if you run out of uh, Dragon Claw ammo, you can use the Elven Wand. And now that that's done, I'm going to try to avoid these tornadoes. Make sure they try to run out. Now one thing you, you can do to avoid the hell-ish uh, projectiles is just step down like a strafe jump onto the like green key area from like here. Watch out for the momentum. It'll probably send you down there though, so be real careful when you're doing that. Anyways, now that we have the green key, we can pick up more goodies here. Um, and you know what? I'm probably going to deal with these guys right now, so I don't have to deal with them later. Because they've been a pain. You'll probably want to deal with them at some point in your playthrough too, because... Yeah, they'll just keep on shooting at you from that little peanut gallery up there. So shoot them back. You can probably use a, a Dragon Claw if you ha have ammo for it, or the Elven Wand if you want to like tickle them to death. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to save them for later. I know they're annoying, but I got to deal with them at a different way. And yeah, you might have noticed the roar from afar. That's the Molotar, because the Molotar is on this level. Why not? You can open both of these green doors to go to various places, in the, which will lead to the same area, but will have uh, different enemies waiting for you. Good friends, all of them. You got Fire Gargoyles, Saber Claws, and you might have noticed when we grabbed the Toma Power, some areas were lowered. They have the Ophidians in them. So what you could do is probably pick up more goodies, probably uh, go into these areas here with the more ammo, crystal vials, all good stuff to have. Crystal Bio here, you might have noticed the Mystic Urn. There's a way to get it, which I can show to you later, but first I'm going to turn on the uh, Ring of Invincibility and try to deal with this guy right here with the Fire Mace, because I have it. Just spam the ammo. Just spam everything you got on him with the Ring of Invincibility. If you don't have the fire mace, I suggest avoiding him entirely. But I'm gonna deal with him right now because he's been a pain in my ass, and I'm gonna like try to like get him down while I have this weaponry. And yeah, look at that. His uh, slam attack goes up and through all these things, which is rather bullshit. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. Such is life when playing Heretic. Oh yeah, did I mention uh? Yeah, remember the water glitch? It's fucked up for this level too, so um, it's even more merciless if you're playing vanilla or chocolate heretic. But what you can do is shoot him from afar sometimes. But that caused a problem since I didn't deal with the Ophidians from earlier. Of course, they have to still be here begging for attention. So you can probably try to go back up and get the crystal vials you didn't get from earlier, which is what I'm going to do right now. Because those Ophidians had the, like... 
be begging for attention, you know? <laughs> yeah, this level is a bit of a pain in some areas. This one in particular with the Molotar. Yeah. And you don't have the gauntlets unless you're doing a continuous playthrough, but you do get a chance to get the Mystic Urn, which is always good to have, especially in places like this where the enemies will whittle, wingle your health down and just basically be unrelenting. So these banners here open up to reveal places with the uh, Ophidians. I'm going to use the tome, which I got from earlier in the area with the like room down there with the green key door and whatnot to whittle these guys down. And since I got hit, because I'm shit, I'm gonna use a Mystic Urn to deal with it. You might notice a switch down that hallway. I'm gonna press it, of course. Why wouldn't you wanna press the switches here? Anyways, they dropped some claw worms, or they were here all along, I forget. Anyways, pressing this button will, um, lower some goodies. But first, we wanna deal with the rest of this. Here's another banner here, which has the uh, same premise. More Ophidians, because why not? And not a lot of ammo. Hmm. But that's okay, because we can go in here and shoot these guys down with the album 1. Because we're low on ammo. You might hear the laughter. There's an Iron Lich in this area, and I will introduce you to him very shortly. Yeah. Anyways. More Warren Crystal Crystal Vials. You might notice this door here with the like exit door texture. We can't go there yet because uh, we don't have any like real stuff to go there. Now, what you could do is lure them out. That might not work all the time. But uh, since it did in this particular case, I'm going to deal with them with the Elven Wand. Try to avoid their hit, their projectiles, which is kind of hard to do in this narrow hallway. But what you can do is try to like stun them, or like go to one side, then go to the other when they shoot the other projectile. Yeah, this level is kind of crazy, <laughs> but you can lower this down. But when you do, it raises back up, and you can't lower it down from this angle. So what you want to do is go here and uh, grab the Hell Sap. But when you do, this Iron Lich finally reveals itself, so watch out. What you can do is play the Hitscan Harry game with it. But watch out for those Ice Projectiles, they can hit you! What you want to do when it shoots ice is just walk to the side. Of course it here. Nope. Yeah, this Iron Lich is a motherfucker. And I ran out of Elm 1 ammo. Which is a rarity. But we got a Quartz Flask out of it and we got the Hell Staff. Now pressing this will finally lower this area. Yeah, we can't open this door just yet. We have to, like, deal with this. We got the Hell Staff, which will be very useful later on, or maybe right now, in fact. So what I'm going to do is finally deal with this asshole. Shoot him down. What you could also do is do a running, like, a straight run over here to get this other Mystic Urn. It's not a secret, but uh, there's one on the other side. Or not a Mystic Urn, but another pickup on, on the other side, which is a secret. So I'm going to use the Mystic Urn right now, in fact. Yeah, this part is a secret. It has the Enchanted Shield in a place back to where you were before. And I'm going to lower this down to finally deal with this Ophidian who decided to reveal itself from earlier. And I'm going to go to this area to deal with these Ophidians in here who were shooting me from this other peanut gallery. Yeah, this level has a lot of like peanut galleries where the Ophidians will shoot you and judge your every action. So just deal with them all. Play a peekaboo game if you have the hell staff. Just we're just run in and spam it. Now the blue key's here, but when you grab the blue key, this area will lower with more Ophidians because there aren't enough Ophidians 
in this area. Not enough of these like meat shield fucks shooting these projectiles at you. Three at a time, then one at a time. In that endless cycle, there are more mace spheres here and a torch. Which are both very good things. If you have the mace, it's uh, especially good. Oh, I have more ammo. I'm gonna try to like pick off these guys again. Try being the key word. Gonna get, get some good use out of that hell staff too. Why not? Because there are some runes here, which may or may not have been from this saber clause. And now we're finally done with those guys, but going into here, we'll see saber claws and iron legends. I'm gonna use the shadow sphere at last. This is a very narrow uh, place to be, so uh, watch out for those like fire attacks, because they're more dangerous. They're not as dang. The ice attacks aren't as dangerous in this situation because uh, they just go right through you and the projectiles that spit off from it won't like uh, hit you if you're going up the stairway. So this will these iron lists down. You could probably use the uh, Dragon Claw or the Elven Wand if you want to be cheeky with these like corners here. Good old Hit Scan Harry game. Who is Hit Scan Harry? The mystery will probably never be revealed, but he is a hero to us all because he taught me how to deal with this shit. Now they're regarding a Wings of Wrath pickup. And when you go down here you can finally get the Phoenix Rod and there's a map scroll here too because there's not enough stuff. There's also a Chaos Device. Because why not? Anyways, now we dealt with that area. Uh, what you could do is check the auto map. <laughs> And just make sure that all the areas are cleared out. In fact, I'm gonna do this in advance just to like clear out the area with the uh, like saber claws. Cause when I go in there, there will be more ordeals. You can see that like spinal door there. It opens up to somewhere. But uh, yeah, let me double check. Make sure I got everything in this area. You'll notice, yeah, the exit is there, but. Um, yeah, this banner opens up, and when you go down, you'll get the Gauntlets of the Necromancer, which in my opinion is a little too too late. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you were saving up the Tome of Power, you could probably get um, some action out of that. But yeah, you'll notice uh, this door in this auto map. Which I believe opens up later, but the problem is we'll need to get there. <laughs> so yeah, um, what you want to do, in fact, is now go on the this side to open up that door. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me for forgetting. No, that's not the door. Oh my goodness, I forgot how this map works because it's been so long, and I wanted to forget. I wanted to get the memories out of my head. Okay, yeah. This opens the door up down to where the exit is. That's where you would hear the um, like door opening sound. But when we go into the exit, uh, like I said, this area... Um, no, you not open it full. Not yet, at least. Because that's where the exit is. This area opens up when you press that switch there. And when you step in here, the exit opens up, but we aren't going to go into the exit yet because we have one more secret to go to. Yeah, uh, basically, this area finally opens up. <laughs> and you could go to the area where the uh, assholes were. The asshole Ophidians. And now you can go to this area, which has a wall which you can walk through to reveal the final secret and the secret exit. Yeah, apologies for forgetting how this level worked. It's just uh, sometimes you want to forget how a level works because sometimes it's a bit of a bitch in some areas. And uh, But I've gone on a tangent. Anyways, we're done with this level. That was quite 
What a level, huh? Iron Liches, Molotars, the classics. Took me a few attempts to do this one, in fact. Because it is a bit challenging, and I don't have ample enough opportunity to, like, uh, do it all that much. But now that we're done with Quay, we can go to the secret level, the Skein of Despero, which we will do in the next video. But until then, toodaloo.